Welcome to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning about the sample track. So in the past, we've just closed out. I've told you, yeah, close the automation track and you know remove the sample track. Well, if you don't have a sample track here, you can add it by clicking up here, say add sample track. We can add as many as we want. But uh, what a sample track is, it just lets us bring in audio and just play uh, audio files. So if we have some pre-recorded, like an MP3 or a WAV file that we just want to play, we don't want to actually bring in and create the music from scratch or create a beat, we just want to play an actual audio file like vocals uh, or the lyrics to, you know, a song. So what we do, we just, if we click here and double click, it lets us um, bring it in. We can go find a place on our computer and bring in. Um, so I can just record something. So if we bring in like Audacity, we can actually bring in, we can record what we want to. We can say this is the lyrics for the song that we're doing and we're going to bring them into LMMS. So now I've actually recorded this in Audacity, and we can play and listen to it. We can say, this is the lyrics for the song. And then we can go to File, and we can go to Export, and export it as a wave. So we'll export it to the desktop, and I'll just call it Lyrics Save. <clears throat> so now let's look at Save to the Desktop. We can close out of it now. And now we can see this audio file on my desktop. It's just a wave file. It's not an instrument or anything like that. And we can come. Um, uh, should we delete this? So maybe we want this to play. I'm not sure how long that is exactly, but we can double click. And now we can go to my desktop and find that lyrics.wave and open it. And it'll bring in that audio file. And so now we can play it. Uh, we don't want this here. We can clear all the notes out of there. Now if we play, we can say this is the lyrics for the song that we're doing and we're going to bring them into LMMS. Great, so now we have that. It looks like it does fit in those bars there. And then we can, if we can still do like a, you know, a different bass beat here. So we can have like some drums playing in the background while this is happening. We can, you know, have different things happening with our, with notes. Uh, do, 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 do. Say, this is the lyrics for the song. So you get the idea, you can do, it doesn't have to be just be vocals, it can be anything here. And then along with the sample track, we can also, um, if we click on the, the part that says sample track, it brings up the effects that we can apply to just this track. So if we enable effects and we go add effect, we can add in something, we can amplify the audio. A lot of these effects, some of these effects, it's a good idea to do it beforehand in Audacity. But sometimes, um, like we're going to learn later, you can actually tie, you can have dynamic effects that change throughout the song. Um, so, but we can do like an equalizer or something. So if we apply equalization to this and play, say, this is the lyrics for the song and we, that we're doing, we can we're change to LMMS. Make it sound like we're on a, a we're radio. Doing, we're going to bring them into LMMS. The song that we're doing and we're going to bring them Anyway, and so that applies to just the sample track. So just know that you can add effects, and we can add multiple different effects that we want to. Uh, we can add effects into here. Not all of them are going to apply to voice, of course, but we can add effects in and change the settings. And so each time, each of the effects that we add in will have its own little window. And if we accidentally close that window, we can just hit the controls and see that window come back up, the individual controls for each effect. So this is a quick video on using sample tracks, and that's how you do it. So hopefully you found this video informative. Um, please comment, like, subscribe, get involved in the discussion, and I hope to see you on the next video.